My name is Beverly and I love to draw cats. I'm a professional artist and working from photographs, I've drawn cats from all over the world. I create portraits in colored pencil and then share the story of each cat and the art process here on video. <laughs> Today I'm drawing Felix, a polydactyl tabby who left giant footprints on his family's hearts with those extra toes and his unconditional love. Felix was first spotted hiding under a trailer at a construction site on an airbase in 2005. A kind employee named Art heard about him from a coworker. Art left some food outside the hole where the young kitten had been seen coming and going. When the kitten stuck his paws out of the hole to gather the food, Art could see that the kitten's white mittens included thumbs. He started leaving food for the little cat every day until the kitten began greeting him and eventually following him around. Art was worried that the kitten wasn't safe around all the big machinery at the site and brought him home. However, he already had an aging cat with health issues and his wife Velma was not ready for another cat. They named the kitten Felix and started looking for a permanent home for him. They interviewed several potential adopters, but each time something wouldn't work out and Felix got to stay. Felix's kitten-like energy and curiosity lasted well into his adulthood. He had a little yellow toy mouse that he would carry around and leave in odd places, such as his food bowl. He delighted in playing with simple objects too, like wadded paper and shoestrings. He went everywhere in the house that Art went and would climb in his lap while Art wrote papers for his degree. Whenever he heard people outside, Felix would stand upright like a meerkat, and sometimes he would growl like a dog by the door. He had his special preferences for being held, too. Velma could hold him like a baby, but he would only let Art hold him draped over a shoulder. Despite his kittenish energy, Felix showed remarkable restraint with their elderly cat, always allowing her to eat first. His consideration for others was admirable. Felix's day revolved around Art, who worked nights. Whenever Art came home, Felix would celebrate by running to the scratching post and pulling his claws, and then rolling around in a silly manner on the floor or sofa. While Art watched TV to unwind, Felix would lie on a mat by his shoulder and watch along with him. Art and Velma placed special mats for Felix on the chairs and furniture all over the house. When Art rose from bed, he exercised daily using hand weights known as kettlebells. Because Felix would try to rub his body on the weights while Art was swinging them around, he would have to move Felix to another room so he wouldn't accidentally hit him. While Art had his coffee in the kitchen, Felix would sleep nearby where he could soak up the sunlight coming through the window. Over the years, Felix developed many personality quirks. Now and then, he would disappear for so long that Art and Velma would feel the need to search for him. Once, they discovered him in a big Lipton tea box inside the pantry. He also loved to hide inside shoe boxes and closets and would get into Art's guitar case whenever it was open. Another of his odd habits was to dash across the room at random moments, stand up against the door frame like he was going to climb it, and then jump straight up as if attempting to get to the top. Having an extra toe and claw seemed to come in handy for Felix, too. He often used them to pick up and toss his toys into the air. He could also leave extra big footprints when crossing a freshly mopped floor. And if he was on the wrong side of a closed door, he would slip a big paw underneath it and shake the door noisily. He was very fastidious about bathing and could use both his big front paws to bring his back leg closer in for cleaning. And when it was time for Art to wake, Felix would bite his hand gently. Then he would escalate by rubbing his head against Art's hand forcefully until he succeeded in waking him. At the beginning of 2019, there came a day that Art and Velma knew that Felix's quality of life was gone and it was time to let him go. It was going to be a stormy day and Art already had a doctor's appointment, but they arranged it so the vet and assistant could come to their house afterward. Art was deeply touched when he came home from the doctor to find that the gloomy day had given way to sunshine, which streamed in through the window onto Felix as he lay asleep. To Art, it was a miracle for Felix to enjoy his last hours in the sun, the same way they had spent so many happy moments together. 
When I asked Art what he thought Felix's legacy was, he spoke of Felix's intelligence and compassion and quoted a line from the movie Star Trek II when Admiral Kirk said at Spock's funeral, of all the souls I've encountered in my travels, his was the most human. Here's the finished portrait. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. To find out how to commission a portrait and video for your cat, visit my website, ilovetodrawcats.com.